And this is the site we all know. Uh, I will log in as our user David Thompson. So go to the login and log into Podio. So David is a sales manager and he'd like to set up a space where he can work together with his sales reps to create a great CRM tool. Um, and David feels a bit that the problems with most CRM tools today is that they're, they're very hard to use and that they seldom, he seldom gets the right numbers from his sales reps. And that's really important when talking about CRM. Well, how should you do this then? It feels like, like sharing information about your contacts and your deals and other details will create a lot better environment for the sales team than uh, that everyone just sits and, and closely guards their own information. So, when David logs into Podio, he goes to the App Store to look for some CRM apps. So here we find that the lead management pack and we create a new space within our organization for it. So I get pack. And type a new, or I just name this CRM, the new space. Pack added, and I would like to see my pack. So the apps of the lead management pack are added to David's space. Um, we could also see that a few widgets are added and more on those later. We'll come back to those. We'll, of course, see a video, uh, which is also on our YouTube page, by the way. You can watch that to have a small introduction to what this pack can do for you. For now, I'll just X this out. So these widgets will more come into play when we add some content to the space. So the first thing that I would like to do is add some products that we sell at this company. So go into the Products app, clicking New Product. These products will also be referenced when we later make uh, a sale. So the first product is a t-shirt, a print t-shirt. Product owner, um, that's David, because he's the only member of this place right now. Price per t-shirt is uh, 40 US dollars, possible discount by 100, get 25%. Status is sales ready. Nice t shirts with prints. So if I have some files, some pictures of, of the t shirt, I will add it here, but I don't I don't at this moment. I will also add another product, which is socks. No discounts on that. Status is sales ready. And same. And after adding these two products, which we can see here in the product tab, the socks and the print t shirt, I will add some leads to the space. Could either import them from Excel, um, and we do have another video on that in the YouTube channel. Uh, I will post that in the stream when, uh, or in the, in the chat when uh, the webinar, webinar is over. So you could like do a bulk import of your leads, but that's a whole webinar for itself, so I won't show that right now. I would just add a lead manually. So clicking new lead, and this lead will be Carlos T-shirt. And I can add a new contact to the lead. So it's Carlos Rivera, owner, Carlos T shirts. Lead owner, that's David. The expected total value of the lead. So what do I think that I could get out of this Carlos guy as a working sultan? Probability of selling, that's uh, I'd say around 50%. Status he is, uh, is in dialogue. The next follow up is tomorrow. Street address, La Rambla, Barcelona. Okay. I can 
course, add Google Map as well. And now Carlos' t-shirt store is added. So the lead is created, and we have actually now sold to Carlos. So going into the sales app to record this sale that we just did, I click new sale, the company Carlos T-shirts, sale closed, person in charge, that's me, David. Expected value of sale is 500. Probability of sale is 100. Expecting closer dates, that would be Monday at 10 a.m. I haven't invoiced yet, so I don't have any invoice amount. Product sold. This is where we relate this item uh, or this field to the product app. So it's either the socks or the printed t-shirts. In this case, it's the printed t-shirt. And this field searches through the leads app. So I find Carlos t-shirts right there and relate that to this sale. Click save and the sale is made. And now going back to the front page of the space, I see some updates to the um, to the widgets as well. So I see that at week 34, I have a pipeline of 500 US dollars, monthly pipeline of 500 US dollars as well, and David Thompson has made 500 US dollars of sales. Another thing that I see is when I go back when I go back to the leads app, click Carlos's T-shirts. full item I have some related items as well here as well so Carlos's t-shirts is the related going back to the sales and if I'd like to update this and now have it invoiced I will edit at the actual invoiced amount which is 500 US dollars click save Going back to the lead, viewing the full item, I see that two more fields also have been created. These are calculated fields that calculate things from the sales app to the actual lead app. So the current value of sales made to this lead is 500 US dollars, the invoiced amount that I, um, that I inputted before in, in the sales. So the average value of sales made to this lead is also 500 US dollars because we only have one sale made. Um, I can also, of course, change this in line sale, and these fields will will be calculated further when we sell more to Carlos. And of course, because of the flexibility of Podio and of the apps, you can modify them to, to suit your business and to suit the information that you need from your sales rep. So, say that you need a phone number to a lead, I can just modify the app. Add a text field, drag and drop that right in here, phone number, single line of text, press save. And this will be updated if I just, for, for just to show you how to create a new lead, the field phone number is added to it. As well with the calculated fields that I just showed you on the current value of sales made to this lead um, and already the average value of sales. That's also another blog post and a video. Uh, I will as well post that in the chat so you can continue to explore this, um, this calculation fields and what you can do with them. And I think that the, this lead management pack could be a huge starting point for, for your CRM operations. And if you decide that, okay, I just Maybe I don't need the communications app. You can, of course, settings and either disable, which will save the content, or delete. So you can tailor your apps to suit your liking. 
as well and create your own uh, your own CRM space. Perhaps I need some more apps to this space. Uh, my sales reps will do their expense reporting here. I just search for expense. Find something called the expense vouchers with get app, add it to the CRM space. Going back to the space. I see that I have expense vouchers that my sales reps could add for a very transparent and easy way of, of uh, sharing the different, uh, the different expenses that are made in, in, uh, in your sales force. And that was the webinar about sales and CRM in Podium.